Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Promise you a few sun breaks today, and that is exactly what we had. Really about a three to five hour window before cloud cover rain chances start building back in. So we take a live look towards downtown Eugene. We're starting to see that rain make its way from the south. You folks down into Roseburg have really been dealing with some rainy conditions here for the past hour or so, but really everyone is going to see these showers overnight tonight, waking up tomorrow morning. But the difference being for the next few days is it's going to be a lot scattered in nature. We're still on the northern fringe of these storm systems. So as a result, we get lighter scattered precipitation for Monday all the way through Wednesday and the reason why is a roadblock in the upper levels of the atmosphere it kind of forces that low pressure system to just keep spinning offshore. And as a result, we keep shower chances through Wednesday, but drier and milder conditions expected for the second half of the week. A rare high pressure day is expected for Thursday, Friday, bringing mainly sunny skies. But then something interesting happens for the second half of next weekend. It looks much colder and snow levels look like they're going to plummet once again. So kind of a crazy weather pattern over the next week. And it starts with these rain chances coming right back in again. Lighter precipitation amounts with this expected over the next 24 to as high as 72 hours. But this low pressure that you see offshore is just going to keep spinning again. The heaviest precipitation is still concentrated across California, and that will be the result for Monday all the way through Wednesday. But what's going to happen is high pressure back over parts of the northern plains is going to prevent this low from really exiting. So it's just going to keep spinning off the Oregon coast until it weakens on Wednesday. But behind that high pressure builds and we are expecting some sunny days for the second half of the week for Monday, though, high temperatures a little bit cooler than what we had today, but still mild for February standards. We're going to be up to near 56 degrees, so certainly mild out there by the afternoon. You don't even need that jacket, but here's the rain chances starting to drift north. We're already experiencing that in Roseburg, Eugene. That will continue overnight tonight, waking up tomorrow morning. Again, this is going to be the trend you can see on Monday scattered clouds in the morning. Scatter showers in the afternoon. That's going to be the copy paste forecast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I will say there's a little bit more better rain chances toward Wednesday, but it will not last for long. Thursday through Saturday, three days, completely dry conditions, not a drop of rain. A rare high pressure day is expected across the northwest for the second half of the week. And this is some concerning news over the next week or so. This is a telltale sign of avalanche danger because we are going to be seeing snow levels rise and fall really all the way through the end of the week. And the reason why is those sun breaks in the middle of the afternoon tends to warm things up in the afternoon plummets at night and that will create snow at night rain during the day. So it's going to be kind of an icy mess across pass level. Here's the storm system. We we're just watching again. Heaviest rain toward California. This is what I was talking about. It just keeps spinning off the Oregon coast all the way through Wednesday. And as a result, we are going to see the scattered activity kind of fizzling out, but eventually high pressure will start to build for the second half of the week. So watch this by Thursday, Friday, even toward the Oregon coast mainly sunny conditions up to 63 on Friday. Roseburg on again, off again showers all the way through Wednesday. Drier conditions Thursday through next Saturday, 63 degrees for the passes again, kind of mixing between rain and snow the next few days, but much colder toward the second half of next week. And then we are talking about some gorgeous conditions for the second half of the week. Have some rain chances to get through Monday through Wednesday, 60 